and raiders need our help. Roman's been having trouble with some bloodshots and freehorns. He just wants them dead, but I've got a much better plan. We'll freeze them out. Get out to the bandit camp and destroy their furnaces. Without heat, they'll be too cold to fight anybody. Here, take this blastomite and put it on their furnaces. My girlfriend? <laughs>
too cold to fight. He'll chill out. <laughs> chill out. You, you get it? Eh, went right over your head, didn't it? <sighs> Chill out, Joe.
An old boyfriend of mine named... Taggart was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says Hyperion that. wishes to remind you that it could be much worse. fact that stalkers find echo recorders delicious. You'll likely find the rest of Taggart's chapters within piles of stalker... defecation.
soccer things or something. I pounded one right in the throat with my thumping hammer, just like Mom taught me. And it pretty much exploded. It made this hilarious noise like... It was kind of like that. I should make it my ringtone. There's a lesson to be learned in all of this. He who attempts to fight nature will get eaten. Something much more poignant in my head. Apologies. <laughs>
relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slack jaws would populate this thing and make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was he simply charged the entire time I possessed it, before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora, to make a medium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of Sanctuary citizens. Happy Mother's Day to the greatest mom a master husband could ask for. Now, don't get excited. I locked the present in my fist so you can't open it until I get home. Anyway, I'm off to go disembowel Henry the Stalker with my teeth. See you soon. Eat this! I have uncovered legends of an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, 
Legends may be speaking of the Vault Key. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. The action was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours dry heaving into a bucket.
gonna die. in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. I just ordered some serious merchandise from an arms dealer. Man's gotta protect his business, after all. I'm gonna need you to pick up the shipments quick as you can.
Attention, Overlook residents. You're welcome. Hello. Given the skill with which you dispatch those r robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. So, first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you c c could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. <laughs> Hyperion reminds you that any unauthorized behavior will be rewarded with a one-way trip to the grinder. machine and buy some skull shiver medication P please once i find out who thought we needed a running clock more badly than we needed shiver medication they will be thoroughly reprimanded next time you're bleeding to death just think dr zed welcome to overlook we're so pleased to see you. Good job. But we need two yeah. more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without his guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I suggest killing them politely, if possible.
We try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. And which is her luck? If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. Our brains aren't going to rot from the inside. Let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield-like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. for fewest weekly curfew violations. For the next week, the grinder will only be used for egregious felonies. Like... Or profanity. Just drop whatever shields you no longer want into the grinder. All Hyperion custodial bots, please shut down the grinder before attempting to clean its gears.
Overlook's shield is finished, and I would very much like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by and get to the mortar cannon on the launch pad. Hey, Karima. You know what's even better than having a working shield? Not being a woman! <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave! <sighs>
know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. some serious merchandise from an arms dealer. Man's got to protect his business after all. I need you to pick up the shipments as quick as you can. Ooh, that arm's looking good. He must have worked out. or something, you can tell from the metatarsals.
things have spoiled by now. I just ordered some serious merchandise from an arms dealer. Man's got to protect his business after all. I'm gonna need you to pick up the shipments quick as you can. That arm's looking good. It's supposed to work out. or something. You can tell from the metatarsals.
so pleased to see you. You listened to my notes, I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy-indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. Helps you kill stuff better. Take it and go. Wasn't oh, so challenging. Holy crap! Somebody actually paid for that. This never happened. Holy crap! Somebody actually paid for that. Anybody ask? You found me. Yeah, stay gone. I need nothing done right now. Try me later.
your help waging war on those puke green zaffers. You're gonna clean out their cash stash for us. We got a dead drop out in the highlands with all the details. Go get it! The Zafford's got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. The bagman leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. Faces, 
all about the face. The Zaffords got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. Their bagman leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. That there's the bag man. Follow him to the cave. Don't you do that, I'm out. You let him spot you! You'll never get in the stash now! What's underneath? The Zafford's got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. Their bag man leaves the Zafford bar every so often. Why did I Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. That there's the bag man. Follow him to the cash stash, but don't get too close. Bloody Hodon's been trying to kill us for years. Kept saying that scooter fella who killed Lucky ain't part of their family anymore. But we know the real truth, don't we, voice in me head? Good joke, voice in my head. You always know just what to say. <laughs> Am I being followed? Nah, impossible. Just a few more years of making these trips to the cash dash and maybe Pop will finally love me. I'm a much better son than Lucky. I'm sprightly, I'm more talkative, and I wasn't buried alive in a shallow grave. One of my best qualities, that is. I agree, voice in my head. Nearly to the cash stash now. I can't wait to get inside and not be ambushed. That's my favorite part of these trips, really. Not getting followed and ambushed. Oh, baby, that's the cash! Wax that bag, man. Take what they got. Ethan Begara, they're after me, money. Grind them up! You miss me? Paul says you can open all them cash boxes now that you got the bag man's key. <sighs> Huh? <sighs> 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 
I'm telling you, boss, I, 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 I don't know if you think about it, because you can go in there and hunt down my pond. But they bring, and they come in there with a long gun, and it's that flabby. I got another job for you, Boyle. Meet with my man out in the dust. He'll give you the details. Killed my boy. The Hodong sent some hick to track my boy Peter to our cash stash, and then they murdered him like an animal. Never hurt a soul, he didn't. There's only one thing to do burn their trailers to the ground. Do it after sundown. I want to see their flaming homes burning against the midnight sky. Get going. tanks open, then hit them with a fire weapon. This may seem brutal, but the Hodon started this.
years back, an ex Hodon killed my son Lucky. We're holding our annual wake for him soon. I'd be proud to have you there. So easy! Sober though. There's a bar in Sanctuary run by a traitor we hodums don't talk about. Go there now and get wasted. That's strong stuff. You keep plugging that booze. Zafford's won't let you into the bar unless you're so drunk that Annie looks like she's got Moxie's curves. <laughs> right. Sorry, Paul. We don't talk about those heathens while left the clan. My mistake. A crystal escape my step. Come on in. The wake's just starting. Take your time. Find a good spot to start shooting and kill them all. We are here today to celebrate the life of Lucky Slavine Zafford. Lucky was a good man. Kind of heart and noble of spirit. Lucky brought joy into the lives of everyone.
he met the people he killed notwithstanding. Lucky loved the drink. He loved women. He loved life. And on this day, let us not dwell only on Lucky's memory, but on the low-life Sester Humpers who took him from us, the disgusting, amoral progeny of the Hodan clan known as Scooter. Mark my words, fellow Zoffords, we shall defeat the Hodunks, and then, then we shall truly avenge Lucky. It's killing time! <laughs> 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 we put an end to all this clan fighting.
Stare all you like. Sounds like the Zaffords and the Hoducks are raring for a final showdown, and you get to choose who wins. Get out there before the fighting starts. You don't want to miss the fun. Oyo, oh, we're finally going to finish off these Hoducks for good. Come meet us by the Lynchwood train station. Hey, buddy, we got the Zephyrs in our crosshairs out by the Lynchwood train station. Come meet us, and we can end this clan feud for good. Only one gang is going to survive this. Your choice as to who. Once the shooting starts, just blast away at whichever side annoys you the most. And be careful, once the fight started, you can't leave until one of the families is dead. You're to help me wipe out these rednecks, are you? The hell do you mean your soldier? They's with us! My word covered fanny days. We ain't seeking for more Zafford lies. Time to end this! Enough of this! Shoot Tector! Hell with that! Shoot Mick! Screw you! Shoot those Hodong bastards! Now shoot the Zafords! They crashed me boy's way! They burned our homes to the ground! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, pardon, Jarvis! Hey! Hit up, that is! a good thing today, mate. This here's a family heirloom. Use it well. Ugh. <sighs> 